Hi and welcome to a new video. This is part two, the setup of the Asus Zen Wi-Fi XT9 uh, mesh Wi-Fi 6 system. So as you can see here, I've got the two, um, I've got the main uh, router here and the uh, node here as they call it. So that's basically the your extender um, or your second uh, router that you've got with the pack. So as I got this as a two pack, that means that they should automatically connect so that means that they're already at the factory, they're already uh, synchronized already. So it makes your life much easier to synchronize them both. So they work using the AI mesh system. Um, if you are doing it with a system where you've, you've bought them individually, say, so you've bought this one, first of all, saves a bit of money, and then bought the second one, you can easily connect them using AI mesh, but you just need to make sure you don't, when you do get the second one, is that you actually just leave this, you just switch it on as you would do uh, straight out of the box, but you don't set it up. Uh, you let it broadcast um, as it would do, but then you would go into the AI mesh system uh, settings um, on the app or on the web GUI um, via your browser on the main uh, router, and then you would then add the node. And of course it would automatically search for this one, find it, and then you would just click connect and it would automatically configure it and add it to the mesh network. So that's just a quick note just to be on the side. So as we said that this is came in a two pack, so these should synchronize. So this is the first setup. So I've just literally uh, taken them out of the box. I've got the uh, power plugged in to them. Um, so they haven't been switched on yet. So first thing you, you need to make sure you do is always connect your uh, your internet connection so wherever it comes from the wall so mine's uh, from an ONT box I've got a fiber connection so you want to make sure that when you're looking at the different uh, your routers here that you want to make sure the one with the QR code is going to be your main uh, router and as it says here about following the steps to make sure you download the app and the app is uh, now uh, one of the easiest options to actually uh, set your uh, Asus uh, routers up so again as we say it's the highlighted blue so as you can see here uh, it's this one here so it's always going to be the WAN port you want to plug it into so on some routers you can then change this later on uh, to this to be used as a LAN port uh, instead and then use one of these as your WAN port but you'll have to do that at a later stage so for now we'll just look for the blue highlighted uh, uh, square here and then make sure you plug in your Ethernet cable from your um, internet service provider or, your, or whatever from your modem from the box on the wall straight into the back. So that's the first step to do before even switching it on. So as I said, I've got it plugged in and you can plug in uh, your other Ethernet connect uh, devices now, um, but I like to leave it to after I've uh, actually set it all up. So now once I've done that, I've connected the internet, I can just turn it back over and flick the switch so as you can see here, it's uh, starting up here. You can see here I've got the green flashing light. Um, it's best to let this uh, start up first, give it a few minutes, because uh, we will be using this one. And as I said, these are pre-configured uh, from the factory, so they should connect automatically. So you shouldn't need to go into the AI mesh and um, settings. Um, but if you do, then uh, I've got other videos that you can go through. And if you look on the playlist, uh, I go through that in more detail as well. So as you can see, it's uh, starting up now. And with, as I said, I'll give it a few minutes for that to start. I haven't switched this one on yet. There's the node. So I'm just making sure this is all set up. I'll give it a few minutes for it to flash. Um, my, I haven't actually got this plugged into an active internet connection. So it might flash orange because it hasn't got an internet connection. So um, don't worry about that. You'll just... Uh, if you have plugged it into your active internet, then you'll be fine and you'll either get a, uh, depending on the status, you'll get a blue or a relevant light. So as you can see here, you, you've switched it on. There's no uh, lighting up here. So on this one, it's just go by the light here. So as you can see here. So now we, what we want to do is now this is started up and stopped uh, configuring and, and it's finished the startup is we can go back to here and flick the switch on the back. Again, it's not advisable to keep them this close together. It's probably keep a little bit of a distance between them. 
And then you want to wait for this one to start up as well before we go through the process. Wait for again a few minutes for the lights stop flashing, and hopefully, as they're synch as we said, they're synchronized. It should uh, automatically synchronize with the main router here. So now we'll just move on to the actual uh, device uh, setup. So I, I can show you on the screen what it looks like. So now we're going to set up the uh, mesh network. So as we said before, we now need to connect to the uh, router. So you're going to need uh, to connect by uh, Wi-Fi or Ethernet. So most people will be connecting by Wi-Fi. So what I'm going to do now is connect to the network. So I'm open up my Wi-Fi settings and then I'll search for the Asus uh, and uh, you're going to have a, probably a letter and a number and XT9. So you're going to have the uh, model as well. So it's going to, you're not going to need a password to connect to it. If you do see two of them or three, if you've got a three pack um, and you, you do see uh, two of them. So just basically look up underneath the main uh, router, as we said, where you plugged in your ethernet cable uh, for the internet. And under net, there will actually have the SSID or the network name. And this is the one you want to connect, make sure you connect to because that's your main router. The others are just nodes ready to be set up. So if we make sure we select the one, the name of the uh, Wi Fi network that's underneath on the uh, main router. So we've done that now. And you probably get something about unsecure network or possibly open network. Don't worry about that because we're just connecting uh, to that. So now um, I want to connect to it. So we just uh, type in as we normally do the uh, 192.168.50.1. And you might again, as you as you see here, you might get a warning to say about the it's in, insecure. Um, if you're actually using the browser like me, if you're using the app, then there's no worry. But I've got other videos on setting up uh, the Asus network um, by the app and you can uh, watch that one. So again, if we just go to here and we go to continue and then we'll have the option where it's saying set up the network. So you can go to advanced settings, but normally we, we just want to go to create a new network. And you'll see here in step one, so it knows that we're on a mesh network and set up for nodes. So it says place your Zen Wi-Fi XT router and nodes in the same room and at least one meter apart uh, during the setup process. Keep the power on and standby for system setup. So we click on next. Now it's, it's very good. It does walk, walk you through everything. So it's saying now plug in your cable to the WAN port and the system will detect your network settings automatically. So as I said before, we've already plugged ours in. So we've preempted this already. So we've uh, plugged our uh, Ethernet cable for my internet uh, service providers modem or the wall box or your ONT, depending on you have there. So now once you've plugged that it in, it will automatically work out if you're uh, what type of internet connection you have. As I said, my one currently is not plugged into a live internet connection. Or if you do have a special connection, then what, like me, you'll just go into manual settings and then you can select it manually here. You may get this option as well if it can't detect your type of internet uh, connection. So again, most will be either, um, the main one is uh, PPPoE um, over Ethernet. So that's the main one where you'll need a, a login um, and normally it's like a username and password. Um, in my case, I'm just going to use automatic IP. Um, but in your case, if you do go through PPP, just be prepared that you're going to need um, your uh, internet service providers uh, username and password that they've given to you. So now it's saying about setting up the network. So again, you can choose between separating all the networks out or you can by default have it under one smart ID. So that means that you've just got one network name and the Asus uh, mesh system will then automatically connect whatever device to the network. So if it's a five uh, gigahertz uh, band uh, compatible, it will try and connect it to that network and uh, vice versa if it's 2.4 it will just connect it to the 2.4 it is quite clever and everything else but i do say that um like in previous videos i do like to separate the network um out um because that's my personal choice but some people just prefer to have the one and as i said there's nothing you know unless you really want um 
threat something for extra security or you want your gaming or something like that and you want a priority for separate the network out or you want to put your IoT devices on one network and then your other network and separate them that way then it, you can do but unless you unless you're uh, not very um, keen on doing that then as I said you can just keep it as this one here so I'm just going to separate them like I said I'm just going to call it my network and you'll see it automatically populates the names across the different bands as well so it's quite good and again you can change that if you do want to and again it's the same as the password it'll populate the same password across here and again if you want to you can change the password um, you can have different uh, network names and your passwords for each of the bands or you can have them the same it's up to you so then you just click apply and then it will ask you to change again now your uh, your router or your router's login name and then to retype the password again make sure you save this and like I said in previous videos it's always very good the best practice to use a password manager because then you really you can store passwords on there and then you can generate random passwords for each service because nowadays there seems to be passwords for everything and you have to sign up and register for everything nowadays so if one website gets hacked they won't have access to all the other services uh, like they previously normally have so I'll just uh, type that in now and it would be ideal as well as best practice is to have not use admin but use uh, something else um, and then also this password is not the same as your Wi-Fi password Again, that's just best practice because if they get access to your network um, and then you've got the same password, they can come in here and change your login details and so and so on your router where it's best to have a different password. So it's extra security. And then you click next. And now it will start to save those settings and update everything. So then you can see here that it's internet connection setting is finished. Again, it will go through all the information about your network. Again, please don't use password. Um, <laughs> this is just an example. Um, use something more secure than that. And again, you just just go through all the different details here. It says once the new SSID is connected, and then you can go back to either a router or router .asus um, Or if you do have a problem with that, then again, you just go back to one nine two. Dot one six eight dot fifty dot one, um, and then um, that will take you straight back. Or you can use your app as well. So now we'll, we'll connect back to the uh, the network. So we'll just have a, a look, and now connect back to that because it'll give it a few minutes for it to actually um, go through. So once you've connected back, you'll see. Um, onto that new SSID or the network name. You'll see here AI Mesh combines more than one Asus router to form an AI, AI Mesh system. So basically it's gonna now ask you to, if you want to either finish or you want to search for a nearby node to set up. So as I said, this is, best, this is where we can just click on search. And now it's searching for available AI Mesh nodes uh, nearby. So this is where you can search for different models on the ASUS range so as long as it's compatible and you've looked on the specifications or the tech specs on the website for ASUS for your specific um, uh, router from ASUS and it's compatible with AI mesh you can connect them all different kinds together again it's just be wary of that the uh, slower models if it is a, a uh, slower then it will slow down your uh, network so again as we can see here it's just searching across through and everything else and it's looking for the uh, network but as we said before uh, this is uh, if it, you're going through this um, and you can doesn't find anything so in my case I just need to click on uh, previous because uh, you'll find that because like I said my one came uh, as a two pack um, it's automatically uh, at the factory is already synchronized together so they should be all already set up so we can go back to finished in our case because as I said ours came in a two pack but if you wanted to add another one uh, to your AI mesh uh, network then you'd click the search um, function here so we click on finished 
This should take us now to the interface for the actual um, XT9, the main router. So the first thing we want to do is go to uh, AI Mesh. And you'll see it's automatically connected. So you can see I can click on here and now we've got both the actual uh, the first main router where we at the beginning of the video we plugged in the Ethernet cable and now we've got the second one that's already connected. If you want to see how it's connected or what network it's connected you just go to management and you can then also set a preference so you can also prefer the uh, backhaul so you can either choose the 2.5 uh, so if you're using Ethernet or if you want to choose the uh, wife, uh, 5 gigahertz frequency um, band so you can either choose one of those and you can see the quality of the connection as well here and then also you can enable the radios and do all your other controls so this actual node here you won't be able to directly dial into the IP address of this so everything is managed via this so if you want to go in to uh, configure anything for the uh, node like you've set say that it's into this one here you you want to click on here so it's in my uh, bedroom so we can mark that one it's in the bedroom and so you can go across and then mark where they are so you understand in future where they are uh, in your home and then uh, you can go to system settings and then if you want to force it like it says here to, um, to the ethernet you just click on that and then that will force the ethernet um, connection there so you can see here as well you've got all the different settings so if you do want to configure that node so there's a particular node that you know you don't want to be using the 2.4 on or you want to switch off any of them um, i'd advise to keep them all on to be honest um, but it's up to you and then you've got control around the uh, switch as well and if you want to reboot or restart um, that particular uh, node or the uh, particular router um, say the one in the bedroom then you can do that all from the AI mesh uh, network here again all these settings are, are the same within the app you can do exactly the same within the app on this one here and then you can click on the clients and then see which clients are wide connected using the Ethernet port or wireless so you can see in this case nothing's actually currently connected and there's only me connected to the current um, one here so that's just a quick setup of the uh, Zen Wi-Fi XT9. As usual, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll try and get back to you and answer them as quick as possible. Let me know uh, what you think about the uh, mesh systems and do you use one at home or do you use uh, just one uh, router? Because I know some of the uh, Asus routers now like the uh, GT AXE 16000. Um, I'm very impressed on the range of that and that's just sitting... Um, in my living room and um, so yeah I think it goes all the way to the back garden and that's the using even on the 6 gigahertz band as well so I know it's got multiple aerials and, and it is very huge and this is much more neater and uh, it will extend if you do have any dead spots as well in your Wi-Fi okay great thanks for watching and have a great day